Hi guys, today I have a very exciting video. It is, of course, another monthly Poundland haul. I can't believe two articles this week I was featured in, especially one on the Daily Mail, which I was really excited about. I'll leave them linked below if you want to have a read. I was featured in two different news articles this week about Poundland hauls and how they are on the rise, and budget hauls in general, and I'm proud to have been like featured on those because I love a bargain. As you guys know, I'm such a bargain hunter no matter which shop I go into. I always, even as far as designer, you know how much I love doing MacArthur Glen, Cheshire Oaks, kind of designer shopping trips at outlet prices. So yes, I think I have my mum to thank for that. She's very much a bargain queen as well. So she's the bargain queen, I'm the bargain princess and today I have two massive bags to show you of things that I got from Poundland. So if you want to see what I got then just keep watching. I'm going to start with two things that are grabbing my attention first and they have already been opened. Kit Kat Bites, peanut butter and white chocolate and I honestly just was craving chocolate at the time. They were at the checkout I put them in my trolley and let me tell you, they're really, really good. The next thing I got is this little hamper basket. It actually has hamper written on it, but I quite like it to be used as maybe in the bathroom, storing bathroom products on the windowsill or something like that. Or you could roll up like white flannels and put them in, or equally have it downstairs with maybe some plants in and a candle or little books or something. There's plenty of uses I can find for this. So I picked this up for just a pound. It's the first time I've ever seen this in Poundland. So I'm guessing they've got some new stock in. I also got some sale bits this haul, so stay tuned for them. Um, so I think they must be having a big stock rechange at the minute. And also, our Poundland has now got Pep & Co, I think it's called, which is a big section where there's lots of different clothing. There's men's, women's, and children's. There's shoes as well and like bags, accessories, things like that. So they are all priced differently. They're not all a pound, which is kind of annoying because I liked the traditional pound land. That's kind of why I preferred pound land to pound world. But anyway, I did pick up a couple of bits. So I'll show you what I got. They are both from the menswear section because you know I'm like fine with shopping menswear as well. And they're both this kind of like beige and stone color that I'm loving at the minute, especially coming into spring and summer. So the first thing that I got is this plain t-shirt in a medium. It was two pounds. I tell you what, it does feel very, very nice. It feels very soft. Some of the things that they had were quite questionable. I don't think they're the most stylish, but for basics like this that feel really nice, I think it's good. So the next thing that I got, these were five pounds and they are in a size small and they're these joggers. So I'm gonna be rolling up the bottoms, which at the minute look like so. I like the idea of, you know that jogger style, which is like a really high waist, which obviously with this drawstring, you can really cinch in. Um, and then they're kind of like a loose fit jogger with the bottoms rolled up. The next thing that I got are these 550ml spray bottles. To be honest with you, I only really needed one, but they came in a pack of two. They were in the garden section. I have bought these for my Zaflora to put in because um, I did pick up some lavender Zaflora from Home Bargains, which you might have seen in a weekly vlog, quite often in my weekly vlogs whenever I go shopping. I won't save everything for a main channel video, I'll just show you them in my weekly vlog, so you'll see how much of a shopaholic I am in those Sunday videos. That is for the Zaflora that I picked up in lavender scent at Home Bargains, which are 99p, so they're a penny cheaper, just for reference. And um, nothing really to report on this, another toothpaste, we needed one, so I got the Colgate Max White white crystals. Another thing that I picked up was this glue gun. I have quite a few ideas, um, upcoming videos, for Ikea DIYs and hacks. There's quite a few that I've got my eyes on doing, so for that I need a glue gun. And there's also maybe a couple in here as well that I might be using this for. So, uh, this does come with two sticks of glue. So I also did pick up a pack of these. It's a 32 pack of glue sticks that I also picked up to go with that, because I'm not sure how well the the glue last i've not really used them before let me see how much these are okay so the glue gun was two pounds and the 32 pack of glue sticks was also two pounds this was another thing that was two pounds and it was reduced it used to be five pounds and i've had my eyes on it when it was five pounds it's this um like winter warmer woven throw with like tassels it's in very much our styles of creams and browns which we're kind of moving into especially downstairs 
So I'm doing a home tour pretty soon, so you'll be able to see in that um, what kind of colour scheme I have going on downstairs, or if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll have seen, but I quite like Moroccan style interior, kind of also uh, Scandinavian minimal kind of design versus Moroccan, I like to combine the two, so yeah, £2, it's a really really thick, quite big throw for £2, so I had to pick that up. This was something that was reduced, I've seen this quite a lot going into Poundland over the months, and it was reduced to 50p this time, and every time I see it I nearly get it, but this time I just figured, oh well it's in the sale, it must be, so I have to pick it up, and also I do really like the colour of this, again, it kind of goes along the lines of that like brown and cream kind of colour tone, colour palette, so for downstairs I think this one could look really nice. I did pick up this white spray paint. I'm not sure how well this one will work because it's an auto spray paint but I will give it a go. So these two bits were also reduced to 50p. This one being a tea light holder and this is kind of what I bought this in mind for. So I actually love the pattern and the design of it. It just doesn't really fit our colour palette because we're fairly neutral in this house. Similarly with this vase, I feel like one eucalyptus leaf out of here could look really pretty but minus the blue, so I'm gonna spray paint this one white and see how it turns out. Oh, I can hear myself echo, hello, can you hear that? No, probably not. Another two little cheeky buys that I bought because I made the mistake of going into a shop when I was hungry and craving chocolate. So I picked up this Galaxy Swirlers with um, shortbread crunch. So I thought, I've never tried these before, but they're kind of like, I think you break them off and they're like a finger. So they could be quite good for having like with a coffee, if I just fancy a bit of chocolate. As are these. Feels less guilty if I have two biscuits with my coffee, if I have these ones. Okay, I also picked up these um, knitting essentials. It says for baby on them. Uh, they were on offer three for two, so for two pounds you got a pack, you got three. They had loads of different colours as well, but I went for all white because I'm thinking a bit of a DIY with this one for... Shall I tell you or shall I save it? I'll probably just tell you. For my Ikea hack, I'm thinking of doing, there's something that I have in mind that need tassels. So to create your own tassels, I picked up these. <laughs> for my DIYs and for when I'm spray painting, I bought this wipe clean table cover. It is a two pack, but it's honestly just to set out outside to spray paint on because I don't want to ruin anything. So I picked that up. Okay, all of these next items are kind of like DIYs. So you have to just bear with me. First of all, I will show you this pack of two photo frames, both wooden. Again, with that creams and browns downstairs, I think could look really nice that Moroccan inspired theme is what I'm going for with these. And I also, when I went into Ikea last time, I don't know if you'll have seen my Ikea haul, I'll leave it linked below, but I did a bit of a DIY that they um, inspired me to do because they had photo frames around the store and inside, instead of a photo, they put like, um, they've got a set of gift bags. So they put one of these gift bags in with a piece of rope and it just looked really pretty. So I included that in that video and a bit of a DIY. So I have another idea to do with these ones, these two wooden frames. I am thinking one of them with one of these like leather chamois things that you can pick, it's chamois, chamois, what do you call these? Leather chamois, I don't know. A cloth basically that you use to clean your car. As a backdrop to one of the photo frames instead of a photo, I thought it could be a nice little home decorative piece. I also picked up, like I was saying with the gift bag idea, this gift bag, now, Failing it, I can always just use it as a gift bag anyway, as a nice white gift bag. But it's got this like, is it like crocodile leather kind of pattern on it? And then maybe even with a little Polaroid print in there as well. And then the last kind of home decorative DIY bit that I got was this plaque which I bought, which says whatever you decide to do, make sure it makes you happy. I'm not gonna be using that side, I'm gonna be using this side. So plain brown rope handle, nice little placard, plaque, placard. And then I got this, which is a crisp chip chip mesh, which I always see these. So my intention with these and another one of these leather things is to put this as a background 
with this mesh overlay. And then finally, these little mini decorative pegs which you can find in the craft section to like peg on and print little quotes out and pictures, Polaroids. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on that. And if you of course recreate that or any other DIYs that you have from Poundland as well. I hope you enjoyed this Poundland haul. Thanks again to the two news articles for featuring me this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the big thumbs up if you like Poundland hauls as much as I do. I'll leave all the links to my social media channels down below if you want to come over and say hi on any other platform. And uh, I will see you again next time. Bye guys. Oh god these bags are heavy. Today I have a very exciting video. It's a Try that again. The sun's coming out brilliant. We should put this down. It's, it's a 32 pack of glue skit. Blah, 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 blah. And it was, and it was, okay, I'm not explaining this very well. So to create your own tassels, I picked up these. Homeware piece. Thanks again to the two news guys. Thanks again.